Hello everyone. Here we're going to start with exercise 11.3 of the chapter factorization. In this exercise, we'll be factorizing the given expression with the help of algebraic identities. And the identities which we are going to use are a plus b to the whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b to the whole square that is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Then a square minus b square that is equals to a plus b into a minus b. Now let's start with the exercise and go with question number one. Here in this question we have to factorize this expression. First of all we see that this is a square of x so we can write this one as x square. Then at the last this one is the square of 6. Then we are going to convert this in the form of 2ab. So very first of all we write a minus sign which is copied from here. Then we write 2 by own. Then in place of a we have got x. And in place of b, we have got 6. Now, on comparing with identity, a minus b to the whole square, we get a square minus 2ab and plus b square. So, in place of a, we have got x. In place of b, we have got 6. So, we get x minus 6 to the whole square as answer. Now let's see the second part of this question and in this question we are having 36 p square minus 60 p q plus 25 q square. Now again this is a square of 6 p. So this can be written as 6 p to the whole square. Then we will see that this one is a square of 5 q. So plus 5 q to the whole square. Now we are going to split this as minus 2 into 6 p into 2 or 5q and here we can check whether we are getting this or not so 2 into 6 12 and 12 into 5 60 and p into q p q. so this is equals to this one now on comparing with identity a minus b to the whole square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square so in place of a we are having 6p and in place of b we are having 5q so this will factorize to give you 6p minus 5q to the whole square as r. Now let's see the fourth part of the question number 1. And here we are having a to the power 4 plus 6a square b square plus 9b to the power 4. Now if you see this is a square of a square. So a square to the whole square. And now this last can be written as 3b square to the whole square square. Now we are going to split this as a form of a 2ab. So plus 2 into a square dot 3b square. Now on solving we get this one that is 6a square b square. Now on comparing with the identity a plus b to the whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square we get a square plus 3b square to the whole square as answer. Now let's go with the fifth part of this question. Here we are having x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2. Now this can be written as x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 into x into 1 upon x. Now on comparing with entity a plus b to the whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab we get in place of a we have got x and in place of b we have got 1 upon x to the whole square as now let's see the sixth part of this question and here in this question x square plus x plus 1 upon 4 is being given to us so this one is a square of x only so we can write x square plus here we are having 1 upon 2 to the whole square this 1 upon 4 as written as 1 upon 2 to the whole square. Now here we are going to write this one as 2 into x into 1 upon 2. 2 a b form so in 2 then in place of a we have got x in place of b we have got 1 upon 2. Now we are going to compare with identity a plus b to the whole square that is equals to a square plus 2 a b plus b square and this will give us x plus 1 upon 2 to the whole square as answer. Now let's go with question number 2 first part. Here we are having 4x square minus 169y square. 
and this can be written as 2x to the whole square minus 13y to the whole square. Now this is in a form of a square minus b square that is equals to a plus b and a minus b. So this can be written as 2x plus 13y and 2x minus 13y as answer. Now let's see question number 3 second part and in this one we are having 16x square minus 1 upon 144 and this can be written as 4x to the whole square minus 1 upon 12 to the whole square. Now again this is in form of a square minus b square so this can be written as 4x plus 1 upon 12 and 4x minus 1 upon 12 as answer. Now we'll go for question number 4, second part. Here we are having 9 upon 16 that can be written as 3 upon 4 to the whole square minus 5ab to the whole square. Now this is in the form of a square minus b square and can be written as 3 upon 4 plus 5ab and 3 upon 4 minus 5ab as answer. Then we will go with question number 5, second part. Here we are having 1 minus b minus c to the whole square. So 1 is already a uh, number which is the square of itself. So we can write the square over here. And then we can write this one as 1 plus b minus c and 1 minus b minus c. Now we have got this one in a bracket. So first of all we are going to open it. So 1 plus b minus c and 1 minus b and minus minus plus so plus c over here and this is your answer. Now let's go with question number 6 second part. Here we are having 2m plus 3n to the whole square minus 3m plus 2n to the whole square. Now here we are going to consider this whole bracket as a and this whole bracket as b and we are going to apply a square minus b square identity that is a plus b and a minus b. So this plus this that is 2m plus 3n plus 3m plus 2n. Then we are going to subtract the same that is 2m plus 3n minus 3m plus 2n. Now we are going to open the brackets and this will become 2m plus 3n plus 3m plus 2n and then from these two 2m plus 3n minus 3m and minus 2m. Now m and m can be solved so this will become 5m then 3n and 2n can be solved to give 5n. Then from these two 2m minus 3m that is minus m and here 3n minus 2n that is plus n. Now from these two we can take 5 as common so we get 5m plus n and we can either write this one only or we can rearrange to give n minus n as answer. Now let's see question number 7 second part. Here we are having 9 3x plus 2 to the whole square minus 4 2x minus 1 to the whole square and now this can be written as 3 3x plus 2 to the whole square minus 2 2x minus 1 to the whole square. Now we are going to open this bracket and on opening we get 9x plus 6 to the whole square minus 4x minus 2 to the whole square. Now we are going to use the identity a square minus b square and this can be written as 9x plus 6 plus 4x minus 2 then 9x plus 6 minus 4x minus 2 and now we are going to open the brackets and this will become 9x plus 6 plus 4x minus 2 over here and similarly 
नाइन एक्स प्लस सिक्स माइनस फोर एक्स एंड प्लस टू नाउ वी सॉल्व फॉर नाइन एंड फोर दिस विल बिकम थर्टीन एक्स एंड सिक्स माइनस टू दैट इज प्लस फोर देन हियर नाइन एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स दैट इज फाइव एक्स एंड सिक्स प्लस टू दैट इज एट एज आंसर Now let's do question number eight, second part. Here we are having sixty-three p square q square minus seven. So here we see that we can take seven common from these two first of all. So seven, and here we get nine p square q square minus one. Then we are going to take this one as a square. So this will become seven and three p q to the whole square minus one to the Whole square. Now we can write this one as a square minus b square. So this will be split as seven three p q plus one and three p q minus one as answer. Now let's see question number nine second part. Here we are having nine a plus b to the whole q minus twenty five a plus b. So we can take a plus b as a bracket common from these two. So this can be written as a plus b, and the second bracket we are left with nine a plus b to the whole square minus twenty five. Now we are going to convert this one as a form of a square. So this will become a plus b three a plus b to the whole square. Minus this can be done as five square, so we get five square over here. Now we are going to open this bracket, and this will become a plus b and three a plus three b to the whole square minus five square. Then a plus b and this will be done as a plus b and a minus b in the Now this can be converted as a plus b and a minus b. So this is three a plus three b plus five and three a plus three b minus five as answer. Now let's see question number ten second part. Here we are having p square minus four p q plus four q square minus r square. Very first of all, we are going to convert this three terms in a form of a square by Writing this one as p square plus two q to the whole square, and by that we get minus two into p in place of a, and place of b we are having two q. And on solving we get this one again, and this minus r will be copied as it is. Now p square minus two p into two q plus two q square is the expansion of P minus two q to the whole square and minus r square. Now this can be written as a plus b and a minus b, and that is equals to p minus two q plus r and p minus two q minus r as answer. Now let's go with question number eleven, second part. Here we are having four a square minus four b square plus four a Plus one. Now here we see that four a square, four a and one. This can be reduced into the square of something. So first of all, we are going to write this one as two a to the whole square. This will be kept at the last. Then we are going to leave the space for this and write this one as one square. Now with the help of these two, we get two dot two a into one. That is two ab. And here we see on solving this, we get this one. Then we are going to copy this minus four b square. Now this whole that is two a square plus two dot two a dot one plus one square. This can be reduced as two a plus one to the whole square minus. This can be reduced as two b to the whole square. Now here we are having this in the form of a square minus b square, and it can be written as 2a plus 1 plus 2b and 2a 
plus 1 minus 2b as answer. Now let us go with question number 12, second part. And here we are having 5y to the power 5 minus, minus 405y. Now very first of all, we can take 5 and y as common from these two. And this will become y to the power 4 minus 81. Now this can be reduced as y square to the whole square. So 5y y square to the whole square minus 9 square. Then we can use the identity a square minus b square to expand this. So this is 5 y y square plus 9 and y square minus 9. Now here this can again be reduced and this is written as 5 y y square plus 9 y square minus 3 square and we can use the identity a square minus b square again over here and this will become 5y y square plus 9 y plus 3 and y minus 3 as answer. Now we will go with question number 30 second part and here we are having 64a square minus 9b square plus 42bc minus 49c square. So here we see 42 BC that is is going to have a relation with B square and C square. And for that very first of all, we are going to take this minus common from this all and we will be getting 9 B square minus 42 BC and plus 49 C square. Now we are going to reduce this in the form of a square and this can be started with 8a to the whole square minus this is 3b to the whole square and this can be written as plus 7c to the whole square. Now we can split this one as 2 into 3b into 7c. Now we are going to copy this that is 8a to the whole square then minus this whole can be written as 3b minus 7c to the whole square. Now here we are having in the form of a square minus b square and we are going to use the identity and can be written as 8a minus 3b minus 7c and 8a plus 3b minus 7c. Now open the bracket. This will become 8a minus 3b plus 7c and here 8a plus 3b minus 7c as answer. Now let's see question number 14 second part. Here we are having 5.3 to the whole square minus 3.3 to the whole square which is already in the form of a square minus b square and over here this is 11.2 to the whole square minus 11.2 into 2.4 plus 1.2 to the whole square. Now very first of all, we can convert this one as 5.3 plus 3.3 and 5.3 minus 3.3 by using the identity a square minus b square and in the denominator, we have to convert split this one in the form of 2 into 1.2. So first of all copy all of it a square minus 2 into 11.2 into 1.2. Here we have split 2.4 as 2 into 1.2 plus 1.2 to the whole square. Now we can solve this 5.3 plus 3.3 that is 8.6 into 5.3 minus 3.3 that is 2 whole upon here it is in the form of a square plus b square minus 2ab. So this can be written as 11.2 minus 1.2 to the whole square. Now we can solve this 8.6 into 2 whole upon 11.2 minus 1.2 that is 10 to the whole square and this can be written as 17.2 upon 100 and this will be equal to 0.172 as answer. That's all in this video. Thank you.